Hey, good evening. I'm really happy to have you here. My name is Daniel. I was a professional opera singer and beatboxer. And tonight we're going to be listening to Rammstein's Du Hast. So this is obviously something a little bit new to the channel. And a quick backstory as to how I even came across this group is I've gotten comments here and there asking about potential collaborations with the charismatic voice or Peter Barber or just other classical musicians. And I've been reflecting on that a little bit more and decided to visit their channels and see what kind of, not just the content that they've been making, but get to know their personalities a little bit more through their videos. And I came across this group in one of them, and I don't remember the song I listened to, and I only listened to it for about a minute before I was dragged off to do something else. <laughs> uh, but I remember this group leaving a strong impression on me, and I can't really remember why. <laughs> But that's why I'm doing this video. I'm really excited to hear more about them. And personally, just from a classical perspective, singing in German is my favorite language to sing in. Beating out French, Italian, Spanish, Russian, Czechoslovakian. Not only was the music from Germanic composers actual music that I really connected with and was able to perform well, but to me, singing in German is a really great mix of there are some easy elements to execute and very challenging elements to execute and it's a really good mix of that not drowning in challenge and difficulty like i do with say <laughs> singing in french <laughs> but it's not the easiest language to sing in like i think italian would be even though Italian does have challenges, of course, I think Italian is considerably easier to sing in than most other languages in opera. And I could preach for hours as to why I think that's the case, but just focusing on the reaction video itself, I have no idea what to expect from this group. I don't really remember even the minute that I listened to, I just remember the impression it left on me. And I'm just really excited to actually listen to their music for the first time. This is going to be really exciting. I'm really excited, and I hope you are as well. So without any further delay, let's just jump into it. Ooh! Ooh! Du, du hast, 
Du hast mich. Du. Du hast. Du hast mich. Du hast mich. Du hast mich gefragt. Du hast mich gefragt. Du hast mich gefragt und ich hab nichts gesagt. <laughs> there were so many elements about that I really didn't expect would come together. First, you get this very, very strong electric guitar, and oh, I loved the sound of that, just that grit and coarseness. Yeah, dude. And, uh, <laughs> and then we get this very forward, very direct, Du, du hast, du hast mich. And I thought the verses were going to have that very direct forward sound. And then all of a sudden, out of seemingly nowhere, we get this very open, almost lyric sounding baritone line of oh, but actually using words, not just open vowels like I'm doing, but oh, and there were just so many varying elements and what sounds like a synthesized toy piano at the end. Just the fact that there were so many varying elements that just came together in this strong, unique sound. Oh my gosh, dude, that was, that was wild. <laughs> Let's just jump into the analysis. I'm really excited to pick this apart. I love the effect so far, just in this beginning, where you just get these crescendos and decrescendos, or growths and retractions in volume. And you also get this, kind of this muted pitch modulation of kind of thing. And it's already so captivating in the first 10 seconds. I love this. Ah! Ah! Great, great percussion there. I don't know if any of you have ever seen the percussion group Stomp, but they use essentially street instruments like trash cans, bins, walls, brooms, things like that, and just make music out of it. So just hearing that clash on metal what sounds to be outside that kind of foley it's really really great audio work there to really set this intense atmosphere oh i love that ah those triplets Ah! 
This guitar line is so nuts, dude. Ah! It's so crisp and exact. I love just the precision of this. Even though you still feel that raw coarseness from the guitar, you just get the absolute precision of bottom bum 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 bottom. Ah dude, I love the precision in this. Ah! Oh, I love that effect. Bum bum ba, do bum bum ba, ah, do dum bum bum, do dum bum bum. Ah, yeah, dude. I love these added elements that are just happening every single entrance of the vocal line. It's so great. I love this. Du, du hast, du hast mich. Du, du hast, du hast mich. The song does such a good job of switching between very intense and coarse, heavy guitar lines and a very strong foundational drum beat and just having this really light helium-esque atmosphere like we're experiencing right now in this main Du, du hast, du hast mich. And oh my gosh, just switching between these two atmospheres. It's like being shot up to the heavens and then crashing down back onto earth and just oscillating between the two. It's, it's such a wild sensation, but I love it. I love this enormous contrast. It's so good. Du hast, du hast mich. Yeah. Du, du hast, du hast mich. I love the fact that that sound, that outdoor clash on the metal sound wasn't just utilized only in the beginning, but is actually incorporated at various points in the song. I love that. It's such a great sound. Why would you not want to utilize it more? And I love the fact that they are. It's really great. Just adding that 8-bit synthesized toy piano sensation at the end, it's... 
Oh, what what a great effect. What a great effect. So many intriguing elements about this piece that I just really, really dig. Just having this as an introduction piece to the group, I can only imagine what it's going to be like the more music that I actually get into. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun, dude. This was so much fun. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited to listen to more of this group. I... <laughs> This was just so compelling and captivating. This is gonna be a really fun ride. I can tell, I can tell. <laughs> Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If y'all liked it, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you didn't like it, please leave a dislike and let me know why in the comments below. I do read all of the comments, even if I may not hard a reply to all of them. So please just know that your comments do not go unnoticed. And I do take them into further consideration as I make future videos. My live streams are currently Thursdays at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so if you guys would like to stop by and say hey or ask any questions about myself or the channel, I will absolutely be there for you guys. I'm still developing my Patreon right now. I'm just now uploading all the content that I've made for it, so it's just going to be a little while longer, and I really appreciate your patience. Further updates on that will be coming out soon, and I will absolutely let you guys know at the beginning of videos as well when that's going to be ready and I'll also put it in the description. I wanna take this time to really appreciate all of you for being here and watching these videos. It really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. And I can't wait to see all of you in the next video. Have a great rest of your evening, everyone.